Does a crossover offer you too much space? But you need more space than a sedan. Well, you'll probably want to check out the 2024 Kia Soul S. Today, I'm going to take my first test drive on it. We're going to see what this vehicle is all about. The exterior color of this 24 Kia Soul S is clear white. And you know what I love about white cars? Very easy to clean. The Kia Soul logo is dead center there in the hood. This Kia Soul S comes with a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine. And of course, it comes with Kia's legendary warranty, a 10 year, 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty, a five year, 60,000 mile limited basic warranty, and a five year, 60,000 mile roadside assistance. Coming around the side, you'll notice those 16 inch alloy wheels. They're bright silver, really stick out nicely. If you come around the side of the vehicle, you'll notice where the sole sticks out. The top, the roof color is black on this one and the bottom is white. So it definitely provides some contrast there. As we come around to the back, you'll notice that the tailgate actually is very flat. It's very flush here. And there's a button down here. I'll just hit that and the tailgate will come right up on the hydraulics. You have a lot of room for storage in this vehicle. With this boxier frame, it actually comes down in here. Underneath, you'll notice that there's a spare tire and these seats come down. Let me show you how much space you got back here. I'm gonna go ahead and put down these seats. You notice that there's just a ton of space in here for storing stuff vertically. Uh, as well as horizontally. Let's go ahead and jump into the back seat to see how much space we got back here. Getting into the back seat, the back seats actually look really nice with this pattern on these cloth fabric seats. I'm just gonna go ahead and get in. And what's really nice is that you have the black interior with the dark silver inserts all throughout here. Looks really nice back here. A light colored top. Uh, let's a little bit more light bounce around in here. And hey, how about this? Down here, we have two USB-C fast charging ports. All right, guys, let's jump up front and then we'll get this thing on the road. Here we are in the front seats of the Soul for the first time and a lot of stuff going on. This definitely looks newer. Uh, there might be some new updates here uh, as we're looking across the front here. I'm just gonna put my foot on the brake, hit the engine start stop button, which is actually down here by the shifter. I'm gonna start everything up. It's got a nice digital display up front, warning me that ice is possible, drive with care. But I definitely have my miles per hour on the left-hand side and my RPMs on the right-hand side, all fully digital. So on the left side of the steering wheel here, we have our audio controls, uh, where you can change your volume, also change your stations there. We have a mode button, which will change different things um, based on what you have set here. Uh, you also have a star button so that you can program whatever you want there. You have the ability to make phone calls. And up top, the big thing is your push to talk because you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this car. If you haven't owned a car in the last, oh, eight years or so, uh, you may not know what Apple CarPlay Android Auto is. Basically, it allows you to access your phone contacts, make text messages and phone calls, listen to your own music, say on Spotify or any type of music listening app that is um, compatible with it. You can leave yourself memos. Anything that you would really do on your phone, you could do through Apple CarPlay Android Auto. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel, it has a little button on the top left that's gonna change your info up here on the dashboard. So you can have different things displayed, like your safety features, like your trip odometer, your compass, um, uh, your tire pressure, just so many different things that you can have displayed there. Really nice to have. You have some other safety features like cruise control and lane keep assist on here as well. Definitely we'll go ahead and check that out on the test drive. Up front here we have the eight inch display and it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's really great. You have three different swipes that you can do here. Your main swipe you can show your time and uh, you know so it's very minimal. If you swipe to the to the left there, you have all of your apps. You have your map. So you can just go in there, have your map, nice big large map on there, easy to read, easy to switch between map and all these other features. You have your phone, phone projection settings. You can do voice memos, climate control. You can adjust on here. Uh, you have valet mode, quiet mode. So quiet mode's pretty nice. It provides sound only to the front seats uh, if the volume exceeds factory set quiet level. 
it is lowered. So if there's somebody sleeping in the back seat, maybe you have a kid, nice to have that quiet mode. You also have Kia Connect on here. You can connect that onto your phone. It can give you different um, roadside assistance features and uh, different things connected to your phone. Really cool. You have your tactile AC controls down here. Below your AC controls, it's nice. You have a wireless charger when that lights up. I know my phone's charging. Nice to have. 12 volt charger below that. USB and a USB-C as well as a little storage container right there. You have a typical uh, automatic shifter here. You can just park, reverse, neutral, drive, and you can shift it over into sport mode uh, and that's just great there. Down here though, you have drive modes and you have a sport and a normal mode. We'll test those out on the test drive. Down here, we have two cup holders and inside the armrest, we have a lot of space down there. Definitely uh, great to have some extra storage here. Up here, you have your lights as well as the ability to have some sunglass storage up there. I love having that. Up front here on the rear view mirror, you have ability to flip that down obviously but also you have your key connect and emergency phone call usage all right guys that's going to do it for what's in here let's go ahead and get this vehicle on the road and we'll see how it drives so when we were talking about doing this video we were trying to figure out kia soul is it a crossover it's not quite a crossover it's it's this in between it's it's like david s pumpkins it's its own thing i'm going to go ahead and get out onto the highway here I'll tell you what, we got up to speed pretty quickly there. We're gonna go ahead and put this into sport mode here. Oh, and as I did, I actually felt the gears, the shifting changed. I can hear it a little bit more in the engine whenever I hit the gas. And yeah, it feels zippier. It's pretty cool. Something else I'm noticing up here on the dashboard, if we can take a look. Down there, it actually uh, tells you what the speed limit is, which is pretty nice. It's actually reading the signs on the road, keeping me vigilant of my speed. That's pretty nice. So I noticed that lane keep assist is active because on the dashboard, there's a car between two green lines. Now, if I were to just inch over here to the right side, it actually flashes up on the dashboard, turns my wheel, to the left and keeps me within the lines of the road. So on my left hand side, I notice somebody is coming up on my blind spot. My mirror is lighting up. And if I turn on my turn signal while somebody is in my blind spot, that's now flashing at me and beeping at me to alert me, hey, there's somebody over there. Do not cross over into that lane. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the backup camera on this Kia Soul, put the vehicle into reverse and you can see projective line. So whenever I turn the wheel, it's gonna tell me where the car is going to turn into. So I can easily get back up against this curve. Just like that. There's a couple different views here. I can look straight down to make sure that I'm right up against that curve. So let's say I'm in reverse in a parking lot and there's people moving behind me. Right there, we have our cross traffic monitoring telling me somebody's coming from my right side as I'm in reverse. and just alerting me, hey, somebody's coming. You, they may not be paying attention. You know, I might not want to back up there right then. You know, what I love about working at a Kia dealership is that anytime I have a question about one of these vehicles, I can always ask a salesman. So if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments section below. We'll make sure to get back to you. We can ask a salesperson to get the correct answers and Here's the other thing. If you wanna see what we have inventory wise, come see us. We're right off Route 30 in Greensburg or visit us online at smellkia.com. All right guys, that's gonna do it for our test drive today. So until next time, enjoy the ride.